OK, George Burgess has been suspended for four games for an eye gouge on Wateni Zelezniak in the second test against New Zealand. Uh, it's obvious it was blatant. Um, he's, put, he's already gone on and apologised in, in a statement on social media and, and, and via a statement via uh, the England camp saying he has let his teammates down. Um, Wayne Bennett won't be pleased because this is a, a, um, another selection headache considering that Daryl Clark is now injured for the third test and he's going to have to rejig his, his forward pack. Uh, both the interchange bench and, and the starting pack as well, which is, I think, something he didn't want to have to do. Um, George Burgess has played well up to this point. Uh, been a very, very physical ball carrier, physical tackler, you know, good in both both areas of the field, attack and defence. Um, England are already missing a host of players through injury and suspension anyway. And this is another one to add to the list. He's also suspended for the first three games of the NRL season for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And, of course, that includes their opening night uh, match against the Roosters. So, again, headaches for the for his NRL team as well, because he's now suspended for that. I am surprised that it was missed uh, as, as an offence. There was that many cameras at the game, by broadcast. Um, really surprised the officials didn't pick it up. He wasn't put on report for it. Um, I, I don't know what the, the relationship between the video ref and, and the on-field officials is when it comes to spotting foul play. I know there is a process in place, but... Um, when it's so you know, clearly obviously missed by the officials on the field, is there are some kind of way to say that you've missed this now and you can actually hear it, uh, check the foul play number, insert number here, insert player as the victim here, so that this has happened. Do you want to double check with these replays, please? We've seen it in Rugby Union. I believe there is some kind of system in, in, in Rugby League, but it's not universal between Super League, NRL and international level. And that's something I think uh, Rugby League needs to look at is, is the officiating side of things with Super League and International Rugby League only having the one ref rather than the NRL two ref system. I think we have to go down the two ref system for, for Super League and, and international level at, at some point because I do honestly believe with the two ref system that might not have been missed because you'll have one referee around the tackle area and one referee playing the players on side off side line. 10 yards away. You'll have two referees and that pair of eyes will be looking at the tackle area intensely. Um, so, I don't know why it took three days to suspend, but it has. Uh, it's given Wayne Bennett a selection headache for the weekend, no doubt. Uh, it's an avoidable suspension, basically. It really is one of those suspensions that is, un, you know, so avoidable. Um, but he's out for, for four games, including the third test. Uh, it's a shame because, you know, he has played well in the two tests so far. Apart from that, that eye gouge incident, he's played very, very well. Uh, very, very solid. Uh, physical, attacking ball runner. You know, hitting the ball up very well. You know, sucking in defenders. And also in defence, he's been brilliant as well. So it's a shame. It does leave a selection headache. Um, where when Bennett goes from here in, in discussing discipline with the players, it's going to be interesting because he's not a coach that suffers fools gladly. Uh Avoidable suspensions like this really do infuriate him. Uh, he's known as as that kind of coach that does have discipline as his as, as his core mantra. Um, and this is something that England have struggled with over the years: is, is unnecessary penalties and unnecessary suspensions. Um, so this will infuriate Wayne Bennett. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, do you think four games is enough for an eye gouge? That's an interesting point. Um, so I'll put that out there. But thank you very much uh, for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.